The law establishing Arizona state schools for the deaf and blind is set to terminate on July 1st. The program terminates every few years with a new bill usually passing to extend it. As Nine on Your Side's Kenny Dar explains, parents and advocates tell us it's taking longer than usual. So it seems like it's becoming more of a political football that's being played with the lives of a little over 2,200 children with sensory disabilities across the state. Concerns surrounding the future of ASDB remains on the minds of activists and parents. Some wondering why lawmakers haven't had a direct line of communication with those who will be most affected. Not once have they said, hey, what do you think about this? Or, hey, what's the concern about that? Nothing. The lack of communication is why PV Jance, who is deaf and has a child enrolled at ASDB, chose to use his voice during our interview rather than the ASL interpreter who was present. When I'm able to use my voice, I can have people listen to me directly. I can have them pay attention to me directly. ASDB alum Lisa Fur is one of two people using an interpreter. She says the school closing its doors would have ripple effects as thousands of students seek new schools that don't have the necessary resources. It's important to have teachers who are specialized and expert and experienced and know how to teach deaf and hard of hearing children. As the future of ASDB hangs in the ballots, president for the Arizona Association of the Deaf, Jason Schmidt, hopes lawmakers do the right thing. You know, fund it for another eight years. For some reason, they're holding back for money, budgetary reasons. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Now we reached out to the bill's sponsors who have not returned a request for comment. Reporting in Tucson, Kenny Dar, K-Gun 9, on your side.